James, you, you were, uh, well, uh, as a Swede, I'm very proud to see what kind of T-shirt you wear. But you wear the Linköping's bonnet ghost. Yeah, yeah. But you actually, you sent them an email, didn't you? <laughs> I'm in the fan club. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, uh, I had no idea what they looked like until I saw the, the video. Oh, I heard their music first and thought it was very great, uh, very unique, very melodic, and uh, a breath of fresh air <laughs> for for metal. Mm -hmm. And it reminded me of a bit of you know s '70s kind of rock that I liked as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, I love the band. We're here for, for, for the Big Four, and uh, uh, the whole concept in a way like takes us back to the, the time when when it all started when when you and Lars uh, started with Metallica mm -hmm. what, what kind of memories does it trigger well mostly good memories <laughs> mm -hmm. and we choose to live in those memories as well mm -hmm. um, oh, I think after I think the Hall of Fame induction had a lot to do with a little bit of actually turning around and embracing the past not being so afraid of it anymore or running from it. It was, uh, it was more of a celebration of where we are and the gift that we have now. Uh, so along in that, that vibe with, with paying back uh, for all the good things that have happened to us and also just maybe helping some others along as well, you know. Uh, their metal has gone through difficult times. We've, we've seemed to to stay pretty strong with the help of our fans and obviously the music has a lot to do with it as well the honesty uh, but it just felt no, a nostalgic time and a good time to bring everyone together everyone has matured uh, to a point of where we can all get along fine and enjoy the oneness of the big four and not not so much fighting there's a good competition you know, a good like like sports. You know, it, it it almost seems like a volcano of positive energy. You know mm. what I mean? Where you have all the, these bands, and all of a sudden it just gets to a certain point where it has to happen. You know, yeah. and here we are. Yeah. Because we we live uh, sort of it under the impression that uh, this is a sort of a high school reunion, a, <laughs> a, a, a barbecue party, or, yeah. or whatever. Is uh. that really the case? I mean, there's been so much trouble actually. I mean, over the years. Vacation, yeah, well, summer vacation, I, I guess. <laughs> Great way to spend it. I don't know, what, what's your take I, on I, this? You know, as far as us getting along, it's really great. Mm -hmm. And being able to see each other in a different, uh, d did a different way. Yeah. A lot of the stuff that we've, uh, I guess, grown to hear about each other is through the press and through other people. And now you can actually look each other in the face and say, how are you doing you know you look great or what oh you have neck problems too oh me too you know it's like all these things we have in common that we're able to talk about openly now it's mm. like oh my my kids drive me crazy or you know just normal kind of you know dad things uh just life life stories as well mm. but getting everyone together in you know moving in the same direction uh, instead of against each other is so amazing and it makes you play even better I mean we've been hearing for years that we should play with Slayer we should play with Megadeth we should play with Anthrax and finally it seems like now's the time and boy the the level of playing has we thought we were pretty good <laughs> it makes you step up every band is on their A plus game so the fans are getting to see the results of a lot of uh, competition and it's all for the good.